Good morning, everyone. This is Matt Brown with Fomac Truck Sales here in Evansville, Indiana. The channel is called Southern Indiana Mac Volvo Sales. And today I've got a really, really nice sleeper truck for you here. I've done one of these before, but this one is uh, here and it is for sale. So just going to show you this one and talk about it and get up a little closer and personal with it and show you guys what we've got on the lot. So this is a 2024 VNL 64T 860. It's a Globetrotter package. Uh, it's equipped with a D13 500 horsepower motor. Makes 1850 pound feet of torque. It has an I shift transmission. 13,200 pound front axle. 40,000 pound rear axles. It does have the front stabilizer. It also has disc brakes all the way around. It is a 3.08 gear ratio. It's a 237 inch wheelbase, has dual 150 gallon tanks, heated seats, a Labasto parking heater, refrigerator, inverter. And the color on this one is gunmetal gray metallic. So that's the basics of it. We'll get a little close and personal, show you a little bit about this truck. And uh, again, thanks as always for watching. So on the front end of this truck, uh, you can see we've got the LED headlights, driving lights, and fog lamps, along with the signature daytime running lights. We've got hood-mounted rearview mirrors, one of those standard rearview mirrors, both trimmed in chrome. We've got a front chrome license plate holder. Coming on the, around the sides, we've got, for tires, we've got Michelin 275 ADR 225. Uh, low profile tires with aluminum wheels. That is the Alcoa Durabrite. For the drive tires, we've got Michelin 275 DR225, X Multi Energy Ds, and those are also with Alcoa Durabrite wheels. Fifth wheel, we've got a Fontaine. Set at 47 and a half overall height. Back here on the back of the truck, we've got spiral wrap uh, electric and airlines, dual trailer hookup lights. And then at the top, we've got the adjustable trim tab. So you can deflect that air up and over the trailer. Have a single exhaust stack. It does have the side marker lights and all the chrome accents. On the back, you can see we've got air right on the rear. Show you up close with those disc brakes. There's the disc brakes. And then we've got the bright finish angled mud flap holders. For safety, you can see back here on the catwalk, we've got handles to help you get up on the steps. And we've got steps on both sides, passenger and driver side, and the towel bar hose hanger. Now these mid chassis fairings are removable. So there's a release handle there and one here. And when you have that front one open, you can open this back one and remove it as well. Down below the fairings, you can see the ground effects. All for aerodynamics. For safety, we've got the down view mirror over here on the passenger side. You can see in the rear view mirrors, there they are. The, uh, I've got the uh, turn signal indicators and the mirrors. Then up front, there's that Globetrotter XL badging. And that little box on the windshield is the automatic headlights and wipers. So if it starts raining and that function's turned on, the wipers will come on automatically for you as you're going down the road. At the top of the roof fairing up there, you can see the skylight, so it allows plenty of natural light in the cab. Let's take a quick look at the engine. So again, here on the engine, we've got a D13, 500 horsepower, makes 850 pound-feet of torque. Reasonable steering shaft. And again, front disc brakes. And then there's that sway bar. All your driver checks are over here for his pre-trip inspection, oil, power steering, washer, fluids, fuses. 
coolant. Let's take a look at the other side. Over here, we've got our DAVCO fuel water separator, then our standard variable geometric turbocharger. This does not have turbo compounding on it, as it's a D13500, not the uh, turbo compounding version of this motor. So that's pretty much the engine compartment. We'll take a look inside. So you'll notice as you open the door, you've got cool blue entry lights, you've got power windows, power mirrors, power locks, and heated mirrors. Dash, here's all your headlamp controls, four-way flashers. One cool thing about the seat is they are auto up and down, so as you sit in them, they will air up for you, and as you get out, They'll air back down. So on the steering wheel, you've got over on the right-hand side, you've got all your menu controls, radio controls, engine brake stalk, and then down below there is your uh, wipers. On the left side of the steering wheel, you've got cruise control, phone answer, mute, and hang up the call. Down below here, you've got your extra running light switch, ignition switch, your trailer connection lights, and your pre-trip inspection light check button. Over here, we've got electronic controls for the air conditioner, so you can set your own temperature and it'll keep it there for you. Sleeper bunk lights and fan controls. Up here, we've got fifth wheel slide. Grade gripper disable, traction control, inner axle locks, and suspension dump. Up above, we've got barrel plug and two USB chargers. Up above the driver's seat, we've got our Bluetooth microphone connection, and then another uh, barrel plug, along with storage for the driver, storage for the passenger. One cool thing. I can tell you right now, this truck is 18,700 pounds empty weight. So there's our removable cup holders. Take a look around here. It's got leather trim seats with armrest inside and out. We also have back cycler, and these are heated seats. Back in the bunk. Down behind the driver's seat, we've got the refrigerator slash freezer. Storage for the drivers. Then we've got our microwave prep. More storage up here. Here's the upper bunk area with lights. And this is a fixed upper bunk, so we get a little thicker mattress than when we do the uh, foldable bunk up there. And down below, we've got our workstation slash dinette. And underneath these seats, you can get access to the bunk compartments down below. So there's our Wabasto heater and inverter. And that dinette does fold down to make another bed if you need to. Over behind the passenger seat, you've got storage, wardrobe storage. More storage down below. Up here, we've got our flat screen TV mount. More storage up above. And then on this side, behind the passenger, we've got our HVAC vents. Over here behind the driver, we've got our bunk controls with lights, barrel plugs, and inverter. So that's our 2024 VNL 860 Globetrotter Edition. Appreciate you guys checking out the channel. As always, like and subscribe. Appreciate any shares, any feedback you have.
questions, I'll be happy to answer. Just type them in the comments and I will respond. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.